It's time to give my first impressions of the LG V30. I've had this guy for almost a week so far, actually a little more than a week, and I'm definitely ready to tell you guys what I've thought of using it so far as my daily driver. I kind of hate using that term, daily driver. Like, do you have a weekend driver or a sub phone? I've had the LG V30 with this skin. I've been going actually caseless for about the previous few days, and while I don't recommend it, definitely don't recommend it, I'm very much enjoying it because first things first, First, ergonomics of this phone in particular, the feel in the hand and the subtlety of everything, the design, the thinness, the weight are honestly the best of any phone that I've ever owned. This is a premium phone. This is a phablet phone. This has a six inch screen edge to edge. What I love about that is it's not the super tall aspect of the Samsung phones nor the iPhone 10. What I mean by that or how that really matters is because you're actually getting a little more width for that display and when you go into YouTube because I watch a lot of YouTube on the go and you spread it out to full you're not cropping out the image nearly as much uh, especially compared to my iPhone 10 that's one thing that really bugged me about the iPhone 10 is it was so tall that when you zoomed in not only was the notch cutting into it but you were actually really cropping out a lot of image and with the v30 you don't lose much image and you have have more screen real estate there. Going with that slightly wider and a little less tall aspect ratio still gets you the benefits of a mostly bezel list. It feels like it's a smaller phone than it is and you're getting more screen without feeling unnecessarily big. This is one of the best balances of one hand ability. It's still large, but I feel like given a little bit of moving, I can mostly navigate through this phone still using one hand. That's the number one thing I took away from this. Uh, the second thing is I was pleasantly surprised by the display. Coming from the iPhone 10, I felt a little spoiled because that was probably one of the most overall best displays I've ever used or most well-rounded display. It didn't have really any weakness. It was bright, contrasty, not super oversaturated, but still very fun. It didn't seem to lack anything. While this is not perfect by any means, this doesn't really have any glaring flaws. Again, actually better than my Galaxy S8 display because my Galaxy S8 had that red hue all the way around the edges of the device that I personally noticed all the freaking time. So yeah. Thumbs up to that. The wide-angle lens on the back is the number one reason that I love LG's camera systems and love going back to them. It's so fun taking a wide-angle scenery shot or a wide-angle group shot. It just... <laughs> you get so much more out of it than you do on any other phone. And everyone's talked about it to death. I'm not gonna keep going into it. I'm just gonna say that yes, it is fun. Not the most practical, not the best, but it is so fun to keep going back to that. What I do not like is how the software treats selfie portraits. Oh my. So this is definitely, this is definitely the biggest negative I've had for the V30 so far. The LG software seems to handle selfies horribly. And what I mean by that, and why I keep talking about the software is because the actual camera sensor is not bad. And how I know this is because you can actually find a third party APK for the Google Pixel camera software and that dramatically increases the quality of the front facing camera. I mean startlingly so. You get instantly more detail and a more vivid shot. You can even do portrait mode. Where it gets fun is because you can enable the there's a cheese shutter function where you can say cheese or LG or anything that ends in an E syllable and you can have the camera then snap a photo without you having to touch it. And where that gets cool is because you can have your phone out this, talk, looking at the rear camera, and you can say cheese, and it will take a photo for you. So you can get the full quality of those cool rear cameras, and you can even get that ultra wide angle selfie shot without having to suffer through the front facing camera. It's not by any means a replacement for a good front facing shooter, but it is definitely good compromise or a good workaround I should say. I think more phones should have this feature because the back cameras will always be better than the front and especially when you have that wide angle shooter, you want 
a wide angle selfie. I haven't had too much time to play with the DAC. I honestly haven't used good enough headphones to tell much of a difference. It just feels a little bassier and a tad louder. So I'll hold my judgment off on the Hi-Fi Quad DAC uh, headphone jack. Basically the headphone amplifier for those that don't know what that is. I'll have to come back to that in a later video. And besides that, the, the last thing I really have to go over is the battery life and charging of the phone. Battery life is okay. I'll be honest, very few things get battery life quite like iOS, and not that it's they have the best battery life, this is not all iPhones do, but they seem to drain at a predictable rate. Whereas Android phones can kind of go all over the place, and that's not necessarily the fault of LG, but it is in a way because every Android phone handles differently. This is decent. If you're a light user, you'll get through the day no problem. I'm a heavy user, and I do top up throughout the day, and that is actually where it excels. The fast charging is surprisingly good. I plug it in for a few minutes, walk away, and you get 15, 20 minutes, 20% 20 of charging. That's surprising. That brings a smile to my face. But if you're not always around charging, you know, it might not be the best. Stick to the larger phones for that. Pixel 2 XL is probably a better choice if you're never around. Or get a portable charger. Get a portable charger, and that will probably do you better. Wireless charging works. I love wireless charging. I use it all the time. No complaints there. All in all, I am very much enjoying this phone. I love the fact that it feels so good in the hand, especially when naked. Unfortunately, it feels way too good when it's naked, and I'll promise I'll be putting it in a case soon, but I gotta enjoy it a little while longer, especially with that skin. That looks really nice. I think so. So thanks for swinging on by. Subscribe if you like what you hear. I'm Kyle the Phone Guy, and I'm gonna talk to you a bunch more in the future if you let me about all new phone stuff coming out. I'll see you again soon. I've been Kyle the Phone Guy, and you've been great. Thanks for coming on by.